This book is called Ruth Heller's How to Hide a Butterfly and Other Insects. That's the title. The author is Ruth Heller. And this book is published by Grosset and Dunlap Publishers. Now this book is found in our children's fiction area, but it has some nonfiction or true facts in it as well. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. Let's see. The butterfly that you see here just folds its wings. See, it's folding its wings. And it disappears. Can you find it? Where is it hiding? Let's see if we can find it. It might be right here. I see some antenna. Telltale sign. That's how it camouflages. This moth will do a different thing. It covers up each underwing so all that anyone can see. This is the moth. Let's see what it does. Is the bark upon a tree. Can you find it? I think it's here. Again, telltale antenna. Let's see. The inchworm's feet are at both ends, here and here. To move, it stretches and it bends. Then it performs a magic trick and imitates a twig or stick. Can you find it? Where is it hiding? I, I think I see it here. I see a head. It's hiding. That's magic. Let's see. The praying mantis likes to make a sound just like a hissing snake and, it sp and spreads its wings to scare a foe or enemy. It somehow always seems to know it won't be seen when dining where the leaves are green. Can you find it? Where is it hiding? I see eyes. There he is. Animals are amazing. Let's see. Grasshoppers leap sometimes three feet and what you thought that you just saw now looks more like so here's the grasshopper now looks more like a bit of straw. Can you find the hiding? Where's the hiding grasshopper? There it is. I see the eyes. Look, it's hiding right in the middle. How about that? Let's see. This fly here, you see, looks like a bee and thereby fools its enemy. But here's a clue. I'll tell to you. Flies have only one pair of wings. See? There and there. While bees have, you see, they have two. Can you see them? One, two pairs of wings. Two on each side. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Spiders are not insects, as I'm sure you know, but this spider is a hider, and she's very, very slow to change herself to yellow, then pink, or white, depending on the flower that she decides is right, where she can wait to catch her prey and still be, let's see what it does, out of sight. Can you see it? 
she's hiding in the yellow. I think she's in here, hiding in the pink. And there she is in the white. She changed colors to be out of sight. <clears throat> because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predatees. But predators to live must eat. So also fade and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. That's the story of Ruth Heller's How to Hide a Butterfly and Other Insects. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you.